Hello and welcome to this video. I have 10 minutes to teach you 80% of what QuickBooks Self-Employed can do. Because I'm definitely in the mindset that we can teach people within 10 minutes 80% of something. It's going to take you a lot longer to learn the rest of it. But at least if you know 80% of that topic, you are going to be in a position where you're going to be able to know exactly what to do with that piece of software. And QuickBooks Self-Employed is such an important piece of software because it's about making sure that you get your tax return right. So, Give me 10 minutes of your time and we are going to teach you QuickBooks Self-Employed. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer with a fancy new logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet and also head of account here at Boffix. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about QuickBooks Self-Employed and teaching you 80% of what you need to know about so that you can get on with actually understanding QuickBooks Self-Employed in a better way. Now, let's start straight away by how you're going to get QuickBooks Self-Employed working in the first place. Now, I'm going to be considering here that a lot of you are going to be using QuickBooks using your mobile phone. I would recommend a lot of you do do it this way because you're going to get the most out of it. And if you're using QuickBooks Self-Employed, it was designed to be a very, very much mobile first. Let's figure out exactly what it is. I'm going to type the word QuickBooks into my app store. I am using an Apple phone at this point, but it would work the same on a Google phone as well. But ultimately what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in, type the word QuickBooks, and you'll see at the top there, the green with the white area, that is QuickBooks Self-Employed. So let's open that one. Now you're going to have to go through signing up, subscribing and everything else and go and doing everything that's in between. But once you've done that, you're going to be shown this page. This is your dashboard. Now, always refer back to this dashboard because this is going to make you understand exactly how your business is doing. Things like your mileage, things like your profit, things like your invoices and what may be overdue. Keep an eye on this. This is going to be really important to you and your business. So don't neglect this dashboard. A quick navigation for you. Top left hand corner is where you look at your profile so you can find information about yourself. And one of the handy bits you can do here is add contact information and add information about your 2023. This is going to give you opportunity to tick things and keep everything all nice and tidy so that you can make sure that you're claiming things correctly. You also got a handy little settings page here and you can then go through and sort of see all the settings that are applicable. Now I've done more deep dive into those sort of areas. So if you wanna see that, look at some of our videos. This is about keeping things clean and tidy. So for you, go through, have a look at those settings and go through from there. Over top right hand corner is your assistant. This is gonna help you actually understand things a little bit more and is a great way for you to be able to bring information through. But then let's talk about actually what's at the bottom here. So this is gonna be the modules in QuickBooks Self-Employed. So you've got your dashboard, as I said, really important to you. You've got your transactions. Now this straight away is going to be a place where you're going to be able to go in and add information here. Now transactions, the best way of doing it, as it's telling you there, there's a bank connection issue. And that's going to give you a chance then to go through and add individual banks. It's going to give you a suggestion of what banks or you can type one in as you need to. Once you've found the bank, you press continue, go through the on-screen instructions and ultimately connect the bank to QuickBooks. Okay, now I've got my bank connected, you'll see what's happened is items have started to appear automatically. These are items that are coming straight from the bank. And ultimately what you need to do now is you'll see that top there's unreviewed and reviewed. You need to move everything from the unreviewed section into the reviewed section. Reviewed section means that you've put that item into QuickBooks Online and now QuickBooks knows what to do with it. Unreviewed means they don't know what to do with it yet. So go through the unreviewed section and you can do the one of two things. Clicking into the item will give you the option for you to choose what it is, business, personal or split. Split means you want to split between business and personal. Business means it's a business transaction. You want to claim for it. Personal means that you don't want to claim for it at all. Now, nothing wrong with you clicking personal at all. That means that you've just got an item in there. It's not business related. You don't want it included. And you can click as many of them as you need to. Business, on the other hand, though, means that you need that transaction into QuickBooks Online. Once you do that, it's going to ask you what the category is going to be and give you these categories as we can see here. Now, at this point, then you're going to go through and you're going to go pick what category is right for you. So for me, I would go through here and I would choose this category. So at the moment, I've got PayPal. I'm going to say this business and I'm actually going to say that this is for me to pay for some office supplies or equipment. 
And I even have the chance here to create a rule. A rule means that every time that that transaction appears, it will automatically go to what we've just said. So it's really useful. And finally you get a chance to attach receipt, which is gonna use the camera on here to be able to take a photo and attach that receipt accordingly. Once I press save, that item has now moved. That item has moved from where it was in the unreviewed into the reviewed section. And your whole idea then is to go through this whole list and try and put every single item from unreviewed into reviewed. Now, not only can you add the bank account, and they're the easiest ways, because if you've added your account, you've already got the items, the date, the amount, and everything else that goes through. So these things are going to be really useful. If, though, you need to add something manually, we'll just press the plus button, and I can either add an income stream manually, maybe I've taken some cash payment off someone, or add an expense manually. Again, maybe I've paid from outside of my business bank account, or snap receipt. And snap receipt is really clever because if I press snap receipt, it's going to give you the chance to take a photo of your receipt, use the photo, and this is where it blows my mind each time. QuickBooks is now going to read that photo for us and actually add most of that information without us having to worry about it. It's really that clever. You can see at the top here it's pending and it's gathering the receipt details. It's not just looking at it and putting a photo there. But it's actually going to find the information. It's going to read the £145.38. It's going to find the word Costco, find a date for me. It's going to add that in. This couldn't be any simpler. Next one is mileage. Now, mileage is all about making sure that you're using QuickBooks to actually figure out your mileage for you. It's going to, in the background, automatically track you going from A to B and drive in between the two. And then it was going to come down here and you can have that same idea of unreviewed versus reviewed. You can click into it and you can say, is it a business or is it a personal one? And you can even swipe for either way. So I know that's business, swipe for business, and then you can say what that was. That was a meeting with a client. Lovely. Invoices, we all know how important it is to send an invoice out and how to do it quick and easy is the best way. Well, from here I can create an invoice. You can see I've already got some invoices created. So here's a Facebook marketplace on this particular one. I can just create the invoices here and I can send that out accordingly. Dead straightforward, you press the plus button, you put your customer in, you put your products and services in, whatever it is that you've sold, and then you get the opportunity to send and send that email, uh, that invoice directly from there. You also have the opportunity to go in and mark it as paid as well. So you can use this as an opportunity to keep on top of those pesky invoices, making sure that you are getting paid for the work that you do. And finally, the important bit is the taxes. Always go through those transactions. At the moment it's telling me 99 transactions are still to be cleared. So I know I've got to kind of keep on top of that. I'm going to have to work a little bit harder, get this taxes done, get everything right. But ultimately with those taxes that I've got there means that I'm going to have an opportunity to be able to make sure I get this right. So 99 transactions, clear them first, get them out of the way, go to taxes. And then it's going to first of all ask you for some basic information. So I click on that. It's going to need to know that information we talked about. You know, are you working from home? What's your estimate of PYE income? All that sort of stuff. And then basically from here, it's going to give me an indication of what my tax bill is looking likely going to be. I even have the option to filter it to what's called the SA103F form. So if you're doing your tax return, you know exactly what box to put every one of these items in. Then you know what box to put every one of these items in. It's glorious. We love it. Put it through from there. Now, I've been showing you everything on the mobile phone, which I love, and I do think a lot of you should be using the mobile phone as well. But there's not just the mobile phone. Oh, no, 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 no. You could also access this from your browser. So from my browser, I get everything we've just talked about, but in a probably an easier manner. And if I've got lots of transactions to clear, like I have here, this is the way I would prefer to do it. Not only can you do things normally, but you can actually now start filtering down. So let's go from only my unreviewed items. Let's say it's items that are only from this tax year that I've got still to complete. And then I can even use this handy little button here. And that means I'm going to be able to do multiple ones. So I could put mark all these as business, edit the category and do it nice and quick. And I've had lots of ones here. So let's imagine that I have loads and loads of ones. Let's say back to 2023 and I had all these to do. I could do 98 transactions in just a couple of clicks time. That is where you find a lot of efficiency going forward. Now, one of the things I always get told about is, well, what category should I put them into? 
Well, ultimately, you're going to have to kind of figure that one out for yourself. Now, we've done videos on what category to choose where, and we've got more to come. So please do kind of throw some things at me and we can look at these categories in a little bit more detail. Uh, but for now, you're just going to have to be able to put them into things that feels right for you. Now, if you've got any confusion about that, my ultimate tip is if you go to the Boffix website, links are below, then we have an option called an MOT. An MOT is an opportunity for you to have that checked before you send it. So you give us access to your QuickBooks, we go in there, we check all your figures for you, and we give you a good thumbs up or maybe a thumbs down to say how you're doing and ready to go. We'll also give you a nice little report so you've got something to take away, and it's all videoed as well. So you'll have someone talking to a camera telling you how your business is doing. Whew, that's 10 minutes up and done. Now, that was a lot to take in. We've got loads of stuff to cover on QuickBooks Self-Employed. So please, if you do want to know anything more, please subscribe to the channel because we have lots to talk about for QuickBooks Self-Employed and also QuickBooks Online. And it may be a point of you going from QuickBooks Self-Employed to QuickBooks Online. They are very different. QuickBooks Self-Employed is designed to be super simple, easy and great to use. Whereas QuickBooks Online gives you far more tools at your fingertips to make you the ultimate business going forward. And that is it. That is me giving you 10 minutes of my time to tell you exactly how to use QuickBooks Self-Employed in the most efficient way possible. There is more to learn, so please, again, do think about subscribing, liking, all that sort of stuff. And let me know in the comments below, what part of QuickBooks Self-Employed do you like the most and which part do you like the least? And if you are feeling generous as well, let us know some tips and tricks that you want to pass on to the rest of the community. We will definitely be doing a follow-up video for this, and you never know, your comment could feature in that video. My name is Aaron Patrick. This video has been an absolute pleasure to do for you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.